Hi, my name is Sarah Danaher, and I'm the Jenkins MBA admissions recruiter. Thank you so much for joining us for our first ever Jenkins MBA Spotlight Series. Whether this is your first episode or your 10th, we're really happy you're here. Today, my colleague, Riley Hutchison, Assistant Director of Admissions, and I will be sharing with you some stories and experiences from some of our amazing students and alumni. This 10-part, five-week series will feature interviews, personal success stories, as well as first-hand tips and tricks for admission. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoy. Well, thank you all once again for joining us for another Jenkins MBA Spotlight interview series. Sarah Danaher is with me tonight, as well as Morgan Getchy. Um, Morgan is a Jenkins MBA alumna. And Morgan, would you mind just telling us a little bit about yourself, um, your work industry, um, you know, what you're doing right now, and any fun facts if you want to share any? Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me on. I really appreciate it. Really excited to be here. Um, again, my name is Morgan Getchy. I work full time in the tech industry and I also own a business in video production and digital marketing. And one fun fact about me is that I'm in the process of studying for my remote drone pilot certification. That is awesome. What, what led <laughs> you to do that? So it's really helpful when you uh, work in video production or you own a video production business to be able to have that drone capability. And it's something that I've wanted to do for a couple of year, years now. So I'm so excited to finally just like cross that off my list and have it done. Um, yeah, it's a lot goes into it, but it's been it's been a good process so far. And I'm so excited to be able to finally offer that service uh, in my business. So that's fantastic. And we love that. And we will definitely be asking you some more about your business later on in the interview. But to start off, you know, you're a Jenkins MBA alumna. How did you hear about the program? Absolutely. So I went to NC State for my undergrad. And I want to say that I heard maybe a little bit about the program while in undergrad. But it wasn't until, you know, I got out into the working world and I started to meet other professionals within technology, within marketing. That's when I really heard the most about the Jenkins MBA program. So I had the opportunity to meet not only people who worked in the, or who were in the online program and the evening program, but I met a ton of people in the full-time program. So I would also say that that's kind of what piqued my interest. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. And, you know, after you worked your way through the application process, um, why did you really end up choosing Jenkins? What stood out to you? That's a great question. And so I think the cool thing about the triangle area is that there are so many different schools, like great schools to choose from. But ultimately, the reason why I decided to go with the NC State Jenkins MBA program is because it had more of that community, that tight knit feel. And that's really what I was looking for. I didn't want to have that MBA experience that felt very cutthroat against everyone else in the program because that doesn't align with who I am as a person. And NC State really brings that community feel. You know, you can really just, even when you go into the admissions office, you can tell that, you know, people care, people are nice. And that is what I was looking for. And so aside from that, something that I was really interested in is the technology aspect, as well as entrepreneurship. And NC State is great in both of those areas. So I'm so glad you said that because, you know, fit is so important. You want to make sure that the values that you have align well with what the program has to offer too. So once you finish the program, you said that you decided to start your own business. Can you tell us a little bit about it, Raleigh Media Co.? Yes, absolutely. I'll be more than happy to. So Raleigh Media Company is a video production company that focuses primarily on creating video content for businesses as well as events. And of course, can't really do a lot of events right now because of everything that's going on, but that is kind of another focus of the business. And so I actually started the company a couple of years ago. Um, and really, I think what sets my video production company apart from others is that I have a marketing background. So essentially, I'm not just creating a video and then handing it off to the client and I'm like, all right, you know, goodbye, like figure it out. I can actually provide them with consulting and suggestions for really figuring out how to make that video work. Outside of that, I'm also really involved in the social media space. 
you know, I know what's going on with the trends and, and you know, all the different dimensions when you're creating a video. And I think that's really important because you can incorporate that into the video production process. I know at the end of the day, there's so much that goes into not only putting the video together, but then being able to get whatever it is out there, marketing your product, marketing your business, and really putting together that cohesive product. So how do you feel that the Jenkins MBA has helped you on your entrepreneurial career path? Yes, I love that question because I like to compare, you know, how I felt about the entrepreneurship path before getting my MBA and then after. And so one of the big reasons why I wanted to get an MBA wasn't just to get that piece of paper, but it was more that personal and professional development. So the first way that the Jenkins MBA has really helped me in my entrepreneurial career path is through building confidence. So for example, the MBA program really prepares you to be able to think on your feet and answer really difficult questions. So I know that, you know, if I'm meeting with a prospective client and they throw a hard question at me that I'm able to answer it because I have the confidence to be able to do that. And so the second way that the MBA program has prepared me is through networking. There is a huge, huge emphasis on networking in the MBA program, and I cannot stress how important this is. So if this is a skill that you you know, might not be as good at, and you're kind of scared to do more networking, you know, I would really just try to push past that as much as possible. And so the career management team at the NC State Jenkins MBA program also does a really great job of prepping people for this and answering questions as well. And then the last way that the MBA program has prepared me in this entrepreneurial career path is it's really given me an edge in my industry by teaching me the ins and outs of business. And so at the end of the day, I know that I can talk business and I can also put myself in the shoes of the businesses that I'm working with. And I think that is invaluable. I think that's wonderful that you brought up networking because that actually ties directly into our next question. Were you able to connect with other students or like-minded people who had the same aspirations that you do? I know you mentioned the Career Management Center. How did you feel about your cohort in the program? Yes, so that is honestly one of the great things about the Jenkins MBA program is that you have the opportunity to work with people with diverse backgrounds. And so I, of course, had the opportunity to meet with people and to work with people who either had businesses in the past or maybe they're interested in starting a business in the future. There's also different clubs that you can join based on your interests. So entrepreneurship club, finance club, marketing, you know, all of these different areas. So even looking past the Jenkins MBA program, NC State has a huge entrepreneurial community. So I definitely leveraged this and did a ton of networking with other entrepreneurs and like-minded people. So overall, it was a great experience because I was able to meet other people that were like-minded and then also meet other people with just different backgrounds than me. Most definitely. I'm so glad you were able to make those connections on campus. Now, in terms of your coursework, were there any special classes or projects that really, really stood out to you that you really enjoyed, whether they were focused on entrepreneurship or focused in any other business area? Absolutely. So hands down, my favorite class was consumer behavior. And the reason why this is my favorite class is because it combines business, marketing, and psychology to really uncover why consumers make certain purchasing decisions. So that that class was super, super interesting. Um, Outside of that, something else that I had the opportunity to participate in was the McLaughlin Fellowship. And this was a great experience because it provided a couple weekends worth of professional development and personal development. And then you also get to do a development challenge at the very end. So if you're interested in that, I would highly, highly recommend looking into it. Well, thank you so much for sharing that, Morgan. Um, We'd love to put your contact information at the end of the presentation so that if any students do have questions about the McLaughlin series and development, um, would you be able to answer some questions for them? Yes, absolutely. Feel free to reach out at any time. Perfect. Now, in regards to the different delivery methods that you experienced while in the program, you were in the full-time cohort. So most of the time, your classes were taught face-to-face on our main campus on Hillsborough Street. Now, did you have the opportunity to take any evening electives or online courses during your time in the program? Yes. So that's something else that I really like about the Jenkins MBA program is that 
you have that flexibility in most cases to kind of move between those different delivery modes. So I did have the opportunity to take an evening class. And then I think that I also took a couple of online classes. And was it able, and was that transition seamless? Did you have the support you feel you needed to take those different types of classes while your main um, delivery method was just face-to-face? Yes, I absolutely had a ton of support and the transition moving from full-time during the day classes to those evening and online classes was definitely seamless. Perfect. Thank you. Well, Morgan, thank you for sharing all of your experiences. Um, Last question that we have for you is, is there anything else that you would like to add? Any tips, tricks, any pieces of advice you would give to a student who's thinking about the Jenkins MBA program or Anything that you wish you knew, you know, before you had started the program? Absolutely. I would say my biggest piece of advice is to, you know, use this opportunity as a time to push yourself outside of your comfort zone. I think that when it comes to school, a lot of people like to play it safe because they're so, you know, concerned with their grades. And that is definitely a valid concern, but it's also a great time to try something new. You know, maybe there was a class in undergrad that you didn't get to do because you were too scared to take it because it was going to be really hard. Well, push yourself outside of your comfort zone when it comes to grad school. You know, network with different people, reach out to different people, try new things. Um, You can even come up with new initiatives within the program. So really push yourself outside of your comfort zone and make the most of it. Very well said. Very well said. Well, Morgan, thank you so much for joining us for this interview. Um, If you hang on for a second, we will get all of our contact information up. Please do not hesitate to reach out if you all have any questions. We are more than happy to help. But tune in next week for another installation of the Jenkins MBA interview series. Thank you so much for joining us again. And we hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.